Holy shit. Such a good freaking trip, boys. Man, we are 15 keys, and uh, I don't think I use that much cannonballs. Definitely not the usual amount, so great harvest day. Oh no! Yo, what the hell, man? Aw, oh, IFK too hard. Shit, I don't see the curve bone anywhere. It definitely says I got a curve bone. I'm just gonna have to remember I had an extra curve bone. Dang it! That's that's a little sad. All right, so today is a pretty crazy moss shine day. 36 moss shine keys. That's insane. It's probably the the most I've ever had in one day. So yeah, man, that's gonna put me at like 650 KC probably. So let's do it, boys. Let's do it. This is crazy, man. Alright, boys, first kill of the day. Mossy key, holy shit. Looks like, um, you know, we have 37 tries instead of 36. It's the only clue step that I can't do. I'm trying to. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, yo, let's go! Fuck yeah, bro. Let's fucking go, dude. Yo, let's fucking go. Holy shit, I still have like 30 keys left. God damn, bro. Let's fucking go, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is what it looks like in my inventory. Oh shit, I'm leaving this place. Whew. Jesus Christ, man. Holy crap. Holy freaking crap. Let's freaking go. Jesus. Oh my god, dude. Holy shit. This is the final loot from uh, killing probably somewhere around 90,000 Moss Giants. Because around 300 KC, I killed 42,000, and I'm like 635, and you know, and gonna be 650, so it's probably 90,000. Yeah, this is loot from 90,000 Moss Giants. 251 long bones, actually 250 long bones. 16 curve bones. Yesterday, I let a curve bone despawn, and honestly, I'm pissed that it happened. 18 champion scrolls, 148 snapdragons, 940 renard seeds, 24 torstos, 787 snapdragons. I probably had a thousand, but I forgot to pick up a lot of sna uh, snape grass seeds in, in the beginning of the grind. And of course, one Briophytus essence. Hell yeah. Alright, this is it. The last kill of forever. Alright. Uh, for the most part, I think I will end up using some of these if I ever, you know do need herbs very unlikely but it's just backup right i'm gonna put these on the seed fault now all right here we go store all of the seeds into the vaults okay let's go pretty simple process essence on the battle staff right oh nice they even have a little animation hell yeah dude we got it boys I guess I now have the best in slot uh, Alk staff in the game because um, I can wear this with the uh, Tome of Fire and um, I will save nature runes and I will save fire runes. So that's pretty cool. So I can uh, charge the staff with 1000 nature runes, I think, right? So 1 in 15 casts, I will save a nature rune. Nice. Charge looks so good, dude. It's got like little leaves glowing. Hell yeah. That's really cool. Oh wow, there's so many, dude. Jeez, this is easy. No, it splashed. Fucking kidding me, dude. Wow. Yeah, this master clue requires a, a nature tiara. I totally forgot about that. Come here, you. Nature tiara. Yo, we got it. Let's go. There it is. I haven't been back to this spot in about two and a half months. And this time, we can actually do this. Oh, that feels great. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. Oops, I forgot. This is not like an elite clue, and you gotta actually fight something. Yes, let's go. We get it. We get it. We did it. The first master clue completed with the nature staff step. Perfect. Oh.
Wow, that is so average. But that's okay, man, you know. The point is, we can actually do every single master clue, so that in itself is the biggest reward, so. We got him. Yes, 280 XP. 280 hit points. Awesome. Oh, wait, I have three. I didn't even kill the lizard demon one. Wow. Oh, this must be one of the newer things. Uh, an update from a long time ago. I guess, yeah, if we can passively get seven champion scrolls of the other ones. I get the cape, but eh, it's not a big deal, though. Alright, just gonna leak clue from uh, the Redwoods. So, I normally would spend a lot of time AFKing Moss Giants or making Cannonballs, but I don't gotta do that anymore, so I'm just gonna show Redwoods for a little bit. Alright, anyways, we got ourselves some Master Clues. I got a bunch of uh, Clue Scrolls when I was AFKing some Redwoods last night, so yeah, man. Just stocking up a ton of Clues to make uh, Master Clues, so. Here we go, first one. Oh shit, we got a Mimic, nice. Dude, I am so lucky at getting Mimics, dude, no joke. Oh god. Oh god, 10-way switches are ridiculous, bro. Okay, I think I should kill it. Man, my hits were pretty bad, though. Yeah, we did get a PB, though, so I'll take it. Alright, here we go. 500 blood runes as the bonus. I've gotten that before already from uh, the Mimic. Damn, though, that's insane. 500k reward with no uniques. Wow. Not bad. Oh my god, there's so many three-steppers. Oh, yes. Oh, man, that is so good. Another one. Let's go. Second master clue back to back. Let's get it, boys. Oh, wait, no. I already have this. I already have this. I'm pretty sure I completed the darkness set a long time ago. Uh, yeah. Wow, I have so many of them. What? What? I just got another pet? Oh my f god. Haha. <laughs> no way, dude. Actually, there has been no pets I've gotten duplicates of, minus Scotizo, other than the Bloodhound pet, so that's actually kind of crazy to think about. Out of the 17 pets I have, you know, this one is the, the only duplicate. Yeah. I want to show you guys some crazy statistics about the Moss Giant grind. So during the two months and change that I started grinding Moss Giants, ever since the Clue Scroll update and Elf City update, I have used over 200,000 cannonballs to kill 80 to 90,000 Moss Giants. So in this graph, you will see just how insane it was in terms of the experience I gained for range. So let me show you the graph. As you can see, I was pretty inactive on this account for the longest time because I was playing on Huamin Raid. It's just relatively flat. And at some point, it just randomly shot up like crazy. I w went from 11, 111 million range XP all the way to 125. So this is around the time I started the Moss Giant grind right here. So it's about two months. And yeah, it just shot straight through. Yep, this is what 200,000 cannonballs does. Absolutely crazy. A little bit of XP came from Slayer, but yeah, like majority, fast majority is from Cannonballs. Absolutely crazy, as you can see. I gained enough range XP to get from 1 to 99 range, all on this grind alone. Yeah, that's how insane it was, approximately. So on the last video, I mentioned that the Abyssal Dagger has a higher max hit than the DDS. And that is actually untrue because I forgot that the Abyssal Dagger special attack sacrifices 15% of damage for more accuracy. So as you can see, the DDS does in fact have a higher max hit. And another thing I mentioned is the max hits of the DDS. So there is a way to manipulate your Dragon Battle so that it can give you more than the plus 19. You can actually get a plus 21. So let's see if I can make this work. So my goal is to drink the Zami Brew, drink the Super Defense, use the Imbue Heart, okay, and D-Base spec. There you go, I got the plus 21. It's really, really weird, but I, I have to do this really fast. So with the Imbue Heart, you can get a plus 21. All right, so I can show you that you can actually hit a 48, 48. Under normal circumstances, you are not going to make this happen. Like, no one's going to actually drink all these potions to actually trick the Dragon Battle Axe into giving you, you know, plus 21. Normally, it would just give you plus 19. So, yeah. Normal circumstances, max gear-wise, it's 47, 47. 
Okay, it's been a hot minute. Been maybe a month plus since the last task, so hopefully we get the clear, you know? Best of luck. Oh, I actually flinched it and it doesn't count. That's actually cool. Okay, I got it. Ooh, that's insane, bro. Nice, I actually just one set at that. But yeah, oh, uh, no pet on the task, but you know, I'm gambling it, so we're chilling. Okay, here goes nothing, boys. Gamble 15. No gel, no break for me. Yeah, probably won't get this uh, this pet for a long time since I, I'm really uh, lazy with doing these Zug tasks, but. Oh my god, last freaking kill, are you kidding me? Holy shit, dude. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I'm just so lucky with giant pickaxes at this place. Yeah. Oh, nice, Elite Clue Scroll. Hell yeah, guess what I'm doing. Ooh, 60, 67. Come on. I was 13 damage off. Oh my god, I was so close. Here we go. Another Mimic. What the hell? How do I keep getting these Mimics, dude? That's insane, bro. Oh, that's a really good spec. That's a really good spec. Oh, this has to be a PB. Holy shit, I just 16 second PB. That's That was insane. Good PB, maybe a good reward as well. Here we go. He's got the best gear for Sokano. Max K, basically 99 mining. Yeah, crystal pickaxe. Farag armor 4, dude. That's that's the best in slot of the best in slot here, dude. Yep, this is it. We're at Sokano for the last item, man. The final item to complete the uh, Elf City arc, I guess, is what I'll call it. Oh, shit. Yo, I didn't get the Onyx. I just saw the Onyx. My third Onyx scene. Cool. In 1,035kc. Uh, cool. Oh, shit. I just got another Sokano shard. Ah, man, what'd I do with this? Alright, let's see if this works. Oh, dude, that's so sick. Yes, I'm so glad they updated that. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Cool, man, you can uh put the crystal pickaxe in here as well. Because my friend told me. So you can also put the dragon pickaxe ornament and probably the other one from Bounty Hunter as well. Sick, okay, I guess I don't have to uh out the shards, man. Holy shit, I haven't made this mistake in uh, quite a while, but I forgot to turn on my recorder. Well, I actually did hit the 2000 KC at Armadale out of 5, I guess, towards the rate for the pet. And also, I got all the way to 1200 Sokano KC, still no tool seed. So 300 more and I will be uh, yeah, over the rate, uh, twice over the rate. I've been working on the Elf City grind for almost 3 months now, and finally we're on the last stretch. Just need to get the crystal tool seat and we'll be finally done. Anyways, if you guys haven't already, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and ringing the bell. That way, you will not miss a single video that I will be uploading in the future. Also, my friend chat is open under Mr. Iron Bar. Anybody is welcome to join. It's a really nice place to hang out and ask for help and stuff while you're gaming. And if YouTube content isn't enough, definitely consider checking out my Twitch as well, twitch.tv slash ricecup. I stream the progress of my characters about six days a week, uh, around 5 p.m. Eastern time. So yeah, definitely consider. And finally, I am considering making a vlog on my trip to California, San Diego for TwitchCon. I actually recorded a bunch of things, but let me know if you guys are interested uh, via the comments or just like the video, you know? That way, I will know if there is a lot of demand for the vlog. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys soon once again with another video, hopefully in uh, less than a week. Take care and bye-bye.